different ways. The one that no, has no needs and the one with high needs, I'll, I'm concerned about both of them. Right. And we often neglect the one that's high, you know, the one that we don't look at because that kid has no needs. Right. And just like in the classroom setting. But you got to wonder child. why. It's like, Ex- well, you know, you should, you should have some behavioral display exactly. that's undesirable. Why, why are you white-knuckling it through and muscling it down? So it's tough. So if you're a foster parent, you know, um, you know, get get into respite. Make sure you have support. Um, uh, some, like the like I said, respite is when you need a vacation, somebody that, you know, is, is safe to, to look after the children. They have to be approved typically by foster care, by CPS. Um and uh, lost my train of thought. <laughs> Let's see if we can retrain it for you. Here. Get get into respite. Um, I would imagine oh. there's an ongoing training. Ongoing training. You know, so talk to your social worker a lot. You know, when you when you have problems, sometimes they have like family home advisors, somebody that actually comes in the home, case managers, and, and wraparound teach you skills. workers. Exactly. Mm-hmm. There's tons of support. You know, but at the same time, it can be exhausting going to all these supports. Sure, you got a and, bunch of meetings and schedules to keep. You know, and I always tell my foster kid, my foster parents, that look, I'm working with this foster kid in particular. But if you need to talk to me about any of the other five, you know, that you have in your house, feel free to like use me as a support because I understand that the other five are going to impact this client in front of me. Well, that's good. Just that's just good family systems work. Yeah. It doesn't matter that they're from different homes. You're, you're working in the family systems context. And if they're living on the same roof, they're going to be interacting with one another. Yeah. Um, Thanks. I know we tried to knock this out real quickly because you have a you have work to do. Um, yeah. But uh, for those who are interested, pick up emotion function, emotion functioning, coaching. emotion, emotion coaching. Sorry, emotional functioning is something else. <laughs> emotion coaching by John Gottman, um, and you can always you know, learn more through this stuff that we post on the Zephyr website. Uh, we're going to be having a new website soon. We're going to have a bunch of materials up there beyond just the podcast and the articles. So um, check out ZephyrWellness.org, Washoe County Human Services. Uh, you can look them up. And thank you, Amanda Green, for thank carving you, out for the time. Me. Hope this was enjoyable for everybody. On behalf of the Zephyr Wellness team, uh, family, Zephyr Wellness family, Naga Notes team, wish you all great mental wellness. Bye-bye.